still not tired of the Roland JU-06A and Novation Circuit Tracks combination. I've been having a lot of fun with that lately, so today I want to really thoroughly explore that. I've got some beats that are in kind of varying stages of completion, so we're going to design some sounds, show you the making of some beats, and do some jamming. So without any further introduction, let's jump into it. All right, so the setup is pretty typical for one of these videos. I've got the circuit tracks with MIDI running out of it, controlling the JU-06A, and then I've got the audio of the synth running back into the circuit tracks. So if I play this MIDI channel on the circuit, it controls this, and this is also where the audio is living. So if I add reverb, delay, sidechain, all that kind of stuff, that gets translated perfectly. So all I'm recording is my circuit tracks outputs. So what I want to do first of all is get rid of the delay. If I want delay, I'll add it within the tracks just so I have a little more control over how it behaves. So I've got some projects I've already made and I made all of them using the new-ish pack from A Force Truly Evil, which I've been really having a good time with. Let's get a kick, snare, sample flip, uh, hi-hats, Bass, uh, that's not in the beginning of the loop, but let's just bring in the synths. already gone in and programmed a part in advance <laughs> but I need to make a couple modifications to this patch first honestly this is going to kind of rely on just patch one from the 60 uh, with very slight modifications get more reverb on there like it's already got some nice sparkle to it So all together. That's just a really good time. Or what about this? Let's break this down before I build it up further. Uh, sample flip, kick, and snare on the same track. So these are both going to trigger the sidechain. Hi-hat with little rolls in there. Little sample flip fills. Little Future Bass style stabby synth. At least from the beginning of Future Bass, it's evolved since then, but you get the idea. And. Pat, so all together. Let's add in the roll in the synth. And in this case, this patch doesn't really seem to mind that we are only limited to four voice polyphony. Obviously, it's a huge bummer of a limitation in this thing. In this case, these notes ring out in a way that sounds fine to my ears. And I can add a bit of reverb, a little bit of ping pongy delay, and we get this. Let's 
go for a bit of a different vibe. So this was started with this synth track. Really like this patch. That doing a little 808 style part and then kick and snare on the same track. I did load in a few custom samples to supplement the samples that were already built into the pack. And then a little sample flip bit with some ping ponging delay. Both synth tracks are being sidechained to the kick snare track, and I'll just preemptively do the same with MIDI 1. So in this case, let's let's mess with this patch a bit. Or maybe choose a different one entirely. <laughs> Give me some pads. gets the point across quite nicely. But before I get more into sound design on this, there's another beat that I wanted to do with that original patch, just with the release cranked up a bit. And I actually want to jam it out a little more thoroughly. That's a really fun one. That's probably the one that I've chosen to use in the intro, to be honest. And honestly, hopefully building it up like that let you see what's going on. A lot of the very similar techniques that you've already seen, hi-hat rolls, sample flip, all that kind of stuff. All right, so here's one more beat. Start off with the kick and the snare. Very unquantized. And then I was uh, paging through patches a little bit on the 106 model. Not sure if that's quite right, but it is nice. That's such a cool vibe. So you can really hear the voices starting to cut each other off there. Oh, my God. 
Okay, sorry, one more beat. I forgot about this one. If you'd like to see this combination in action even more, you can click or tap up over here. I've got some more videos for you to check out and I'll be back with a new video in a little bit. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching.